We're rolling. We're rolling. Rolling. I'm on the deep end. Watch as I dive in. A star is born. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a get ready with me for the AMAs. I haven't done a sit down non-studio get ready with me, but here we are in my new studio. It's just like a life update, kind of get ready with me. I've missed sitting down here. I've had so many videos pre-recorded, fancy setup, and I, I just love videos that are just raw, and here we are just raw AF with a BFF on my face. I'm really debating on popping this bitch before the AMAs, but I had no time. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me from start to finish. I am gonna look extra AF <laughs> because that's just me. Sorry, I just wanna look extra. Every time there's like a big red carpet that I'm invited to, you just gotta strut your stuff. So I hope this inspires everyone out there to just be bold and own their sh and yeah, let's just jump right into the get ready with me. I really want to pop this so bad, but this just came from stress. It's, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. So right now I'm rolling my face because I feel like my face whenever I shave, it gets so irritated. By the way, this is the ice roller. I got it from Amazon. I got a facial by Crystal and here are a few clips of my skincare. Like she did this full Hydra facial where she sucks. This, this little pen sucks. It also infuses oxygen, infuses like growth factors, and infuses things. And this is like a little bit of the skincare. But guys, do you see the majority of my skin despite this is like all pretty smooth and even. I will do an updated skin routine soon. I'm a man, I have a beard, I shave pretty much every time I have an event, almost every day, and it irritates my skin, so I have to like, you know, reduce the stubble as much as I can, but also keep the integrity of my skin. I think the best makeup starts with a fresh ass face. Also, I will leave this link down below. Be sure to get it because it feels just so so, so amazing. And it's so cheap. I get questions about my contacts all the time. So the contacts that I'll be using is the Desio Attitude Collection. I converted from like the regular standard collection at Desio using lighter gray from the 50 Shades of Gray collection to the Attitude because the Attitude collection I feel is more light and more comfortable to wear and the opacity of the lens is just as good. So for everyone that wants to know what I wear for my contacts, I'm wearing Rebel Gray. Oh my gosh. Look at what I did with this lash box, guys. This is a lifesaver. This is like a little hack that I had. It's a little box and it has all my tools for my lashes and of course my sharpener because I always lose it in my kit. So in here I have my sharpener, tweezers, a lash curler, two different glues, and some scissors, and my lash clampers. And this is the cutest little thing. Anyways, I'm, I'm reaching in here for the scissors. How are you guys? I miss you guys. It's been so long. Oh, it's just so crazy how time freaking flies. And every time I have a red carpet event, because it is a live show, if I, I feel like if I wear old crusty contacts, I won't be able to enjoy the show because they're older. So I like to just go in with a fresh new pair every single time. I'm gonna start off with some Fix Plus because I love this. Let me tell you, I have so many foundations that I like switch back and forth between, but today I'm going drags. So I'm gonna use my Krylon TV paint sticks. My friend TW, who did my makeup for the Blondes fashion show, swears by these. And you know, I am a full coverage gal, so I layer foundations anyway, so I thought why not go with something that works. This color is going to look way too orange for my skin, but it's gonna balance out with everything else. Y'all must be thinking, what the hell is she doing? Because I am wearing like oranges and reds today. I feel like this foundation works. <laughs> so with foundation, I feel like I prioritize durability over color because I can always change the color. That's just, I always change my undertone because I am so full coverage anyways. I can change the blush, I can change the contour, I can change the color. So a lot of my foundations are different undertones because I am so full coverage. That's just my philosophy. I'm just very much a make it work kind of girl. But as far as formula, I feel like the Cryolan TV paint stick. When you want to talk about inclusivity, this is very slept on. This has 250 shades. But yeah, like I was saying, I really prioritize like the type of foundation and what its durability is because like when I'm sitting at a show and I'm sweating and I'm wearing my turban, like Lord knows how bad my makeup is gonna slip off my face. For the red carpet or if you're at any event and you're getting photographed here and there, I just take my foundation pretty much like to the back of my neck. And then I have a separate body makeup that I like to use on my shoulders. 
Oh, we looking for coverage. Oh, really quick, I want to say, if you guys are getting ready at a friend's house or a guest house or somewhere where you're not, even a hotel, I like to just take a towel and just put it on me. I just got this couch, so I want to make sure that if I'm, like, touching or, like, touching up my face, I sit on the whole damn towel because the last thing you want is to lay your hand on here. While I can see, I'm going to take this Kylan TV paint stick and a lighter color. I have a funny story. So, when I met Mariah Carey with MAC when she launched her collection, like, the year before mine, when I tell you when I met her, this was a funny story. We were staying at the Baca hotel i think it's like her favorite hotel they picked us up in a rolls royce so the level of mariah-ness was so fancy that i didn't know what to wear and you know being a plus size girl i i don't think i've ever told the story before it is so embarrassing so it was a pajama party so all these girls they're wearing the lingerie or they're talking about oh i got this at victoria's secret and my fat ass is like oh my god what am i gonna wear like i don't know what to wear so i took this shirt the sequin shirt that i got i think from asos and i cut it down the middle to make it look like a t-shirt dress because it was so long and heavy and I was like oh instead of wearing jeans let me just make it into a t-shirt dress and show my legs but then I wanted my legs to look so so fierce so then when I wore the dress when she got to the room Mac and then Mariah's team was like okay we need to get a group picture so mind you I'm like lollygagging and everyone is like surrounding the bed and about to take the picture there was one spot on the floor left for me and on my this is why I bring up the towel on the floor there was this like white cowhide rug <laughs> oh my god and they were like Patrick sit here and I was like right I think I was like close to Mariah's legs and I was like oh my god um I, oh, you know what? I didn't even wear Sally Hansen. I wore like MAC Pro Longwear foundation all over my legs with gold deposit. I didn't set it because I'm wearing that glow. And I thought I was gonna be able to tiptoe and just sit on the edge of the couch like the whole time. But let me tell you, when they said sit down, I was like, oh my God, I really want to get this picture and I want to sit down. So when I sat down, everyone took the picture and we all got up. I was the last one to get up and they were like, Patrick, get up, but no one knew. Here's the picture. When I got up, <laughs> That cow hide was a brown cow. The, the hotel, I looked it up. We were, we were also bougie. I mean, we were also like um, cheap, cheapo depot. So I looked up the hotel. I wanted to think that hotel was like a couple grand a night. And when I tell you I stained that, that cow hide, Mac, I'm coming forward and I'm apologizing for that room, room charge. <laughs> Woo! Anything from Mariah. That was so embarrassing. So lesson, always have a towel under you or next to you. And don't wear heavy makeup on your legs. So to blend, I've been using this body blender, body beauty sponge by Real Techniques inspired by Plastic TR from our Get Ready With Me. It is just a little bit more dense than the beauty blender, so I have both just in case. It is so huge, and look, I'm already blending seamlessly, and I got this from Amazon because my local Ulta didn't have it. Look how fast it's blending already. See, now we're starting to look normal. Next time I'm gonna fill my eyebrows and I'll be right back because they take too damn long. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's always a struggle. <laughs> you guys, you guys see the Red Bull flying? <laughs> um, it's always in the water. <laughs> it's always a struggle I'm doing the brows because oh, my face is just lopsided and uneven, but concealer is my godsend. It helps me feel better. But as I start to do the, the concealer under my brows, I just go ahead and start concealing the rest of my face. So we are just concealing with Studio Finish. Although I did highlight, I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer because I just wanna be full freaking glam today. It's the red carpet. Oh, last year at the AMAs, oh my gosh, I got best dressed and worst dressed. <laughs> which was funny, but a little bit crazy. I never thought it would happen. I wore that fringe number. I designed that with my seamstress and I was like, you know what? I want all fringe. I want chartreuse, green, realness. So if we could please do something like that, then let me know. And then we did it. And then we just did a bunch of fringe and I loved it. I was shimmying down the carpet. It was a statement. And I feel like music award shows are more fun than those fancy ones because I think it's open because of the music. That's why at the Grammys I wore that like Jetson pink number and then um, the AMAs that wear that fringe and this year I'm looking like I want to say lobster realness <laughs> I also want to talk about like what do you guys want to see our world I know I haven't spoken much about it but like our world of like the beauty community and all this tea and all this drama like what do you as viewers want to see well the ones that are at least watching like I'm asking you for obviously personal reasons but like do you want to get ready with me do you want fun videos 
Did you like my drag series that I posted? Do you want a documentary? <laughs> like, what is it that you as viewers want from the beauty community? Because it's like so hard, I think, for us like content creators. And I was like watching Nikki the other day and she mentioned how she did that 24 hour foundation tutorial and how she went to the theme park. She mentioned that she actually went to back to the theme park just to enjoy. And I feel like that resonated with me a lot because I feel like it's important as a content creator, shut out and shut down and just like live your life for a little bit. And I feel like that's what I've been doing is just to kind of like find a balance between like work and like pleasure because with all the PR packages, it's no secret that we get PR packages and stuff, but I feel like it's just so noisy sometimes and all these brands just wanna go bigger and go better and then they'll send you bouquets and it's just like, it's a lot, but kind of like sways me as an influencer in a way, I get confused as far as like what to post for you guys. Whether you guys want a production or whether you guys want something raw or do you just want me to do me? But at the end of the day, sometimes I don't know what is me because I get lost in the mix. But I think that's why I'm asking you guys. So hopefully I can read some of your comments and hopefully get inspired. I'm using Germa Blend today in Airspun. I'm not gonna use Patrick's powder because I'm saving her. I like to use Germa Blend under the eyes or Patrick's powder if I had the choice and then air splint on the rest of my face. I like to bring the Germa Blend powder all the way down to my, like right here on my face because that's where I want all the light to hit and this is just such a smoothing powder. And then on the rest of the face, I'll use air splint. Next, Mama, go ahead and take your air splint. Just go around. If y'all are new, welcome to my channel and you guys are seeing this stuff for the first time. <laughs> I know it's a lot of makeup, but what's gonna make this flashback go away is the powder that you use after at the end. And the air sponge, she is heavy duty. She don't play. Ah! Hello. Hello. I'm here for my one o'clock milk lamb with Peter Starr. Okay, Peter's my date today, you guys, and so he is going to um, Glam Peter, can you guys guess that voice? The infamous MUA Ronnie who got my Snapchat deleted 2015 for showing his goodies. Shut up. And she's blonde. You got your Snapchat deleted. Yes, everybody, hi. You know what's funny? If you guys Google MUA Ronnie Patrick Starr, you can see his mangina. Ow! It's literally on Google. If no, you it's not. Yeah, you, yeah, it is. Really? If someone finds it, tweet it to me. Twitter's extra. And if extra. you tweet it to him, I'm gonna flag your accounts. Ooh. I'm gonna flag all of your accounts. Ooh. Everyone's getting deleted. So as far as pots, I'm wearing, <laughs> I couldn't decide which palette to do. So I have a bunch of orange inspired palettes. I have the Naked Heat, Patrick Star Summer, and I have the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. These are all so gorgeous. I think I'm gonna start with Low Blow and Sauce right here. I wanna say my makeup from the AMAs last year has got to be one of my most favorite makeups that I've done. And it's so funny because I remember doing my makeup super, super, super fast that I was out the door in literally like an hour, full turban and all. And that was like the biggest carpet that I went to. So I really wanna like make sure that my makeup looks good today. And I wanna play with a monochromatic look today being like oranges and red and coppers because that's what the red the dress is I'm gonna go ahead and take this color called sandy crotch right here from my palette and just blow it up into the brow I think as a beauty lover for me I feel like oranges and warm tones will never die <laughs> they just keep getting warmer and warmer a new palette that I do love is the urban decay cherry that one's like really 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 pretty next I'm gonna take cayenne and and fuego these are so hot I love these colors and they literally match my outfit so so good Run it along the crease. Oh my gosh, also I do wanna talk about how I got to meet Lady Gaga at the Star Is Born premiere. When I tell you I was so stoked to go and possibly meet her, that was just so, so magical. When I tell you that she is the kindest, most sweetest, most petitest <laughs> celebrity that I have ever met, that was just so magical. So I attended the Star Is Born premiere and the movie is just amazing. Lived and right behind me, like in the row behind me was Steven Spielberg and Jerry Seinfeld and over there with like RuPaul. There were so many celebrities in there and I was there with my turban. And mind you, I, pu I put my turbans on headbands from now on at awards and events because I like to squish them down because I feel so bad. It's the look, but 
I don't want to be like that bitch, even though I am that bitch to be wearing a turban so, so high. But anyways, I was um, at the premiere and then we were invited to the after party. I took my friend Fabian because he's a little monster. We went and as soon as we walked into the after party, saw her makeup artist, Sarah, carrying like the her cake. And then right after, like she stopped right in front of me and I was like, oh my God, I really want to say hi. But I wanted her to see her friends and her family and I didn't want to be like, that person to like, you know, oh my God, I love you so much. So I was like, let me just respect her space and let her enjoy the company of her personal circle. And then I remember security like was standing next to me and he squeezed my arm. <laughs> I was like, oh, and he was like, no pictures. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So then I kind of like bopped around and was like kind of following her to see if I I'd get a chance to at least say hello. And then there was one point where she was like gone from the party and I was like, oh, she probably left and she's probably tired. But then I I saw these girls were like, oh my God, hey, Patrick Star, how are you? And I was like, I'm good. They're like, we just saw Lady Gaga in the bathroom. And I was like, oh, she's still here. She came back, she had changed and she was bopping around in a different dress. And then she had sat down to talk to some of her other friends. So then as she bopped around, I was just sitting there at the bar and mind you, there was food. I love the catering at these Hollywood events because they have so much money they go all out. I was like, let me just, let me just taste. Let me let me do a sample. I'm, I'm very much like that Costco girl. When the samples come out and I just sample everything. They had dessert. They had fried chicken. They had waffles. I was just like bopping. And then all of a sudden I see Sarah walking towards me. And she's holding her friend behind her. And I realize that it's Lady Gaga. And I'm like sitting there at this high top table. I'm like minding my own business. And I see Sarah and like behind her. I'm like, wait, no. No, no, no. And then Sarah comes up to me and she's like, hey, I know you wanted to meet Lady Gaga and you were trying to, but I wanted to introduce you to Lady Gaga because I know you were waiting. And I was like, oh my God, this is like not the way that I was planning on meeting Lady Gaga. It was amazing to, to have seen her grown and to see her now play such a huge role. I think there was just so many emotions going through my head and my friend Feifei was like a little monster. So he was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It was just such a crazy experience. And our conversation, she was like, oh my God, you look so beautiful. I love your eye makeup. You look so good. And when I tell you her face was snatched and she was so beat, it was just absolutely stunning. She had a piece of foil on the center of her lid as like liner. She had like a silver liner and then a piece of foil to catch the light. And I had talked to Sarah, her makeup artist, right after and I was like, oh my God. She was like, yeah, she's so open to doing whatever. If I say put a piece of foil, she's like down to put a piece of foil on her eye and she's so much fun to work with. And I was like, dang, that is just amazing. And I remember Lady Gaga saying like, oh my God, your, your makeup is so beautiful. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. She's like, your eyes. And I was like, their contacts. And I didn't know what to say. She, and she goes, I can see through your contacts. You're just so beautiful. And I was like, ah, so good. I was like, can I get a photo? She was like, of course. She turns around and she grabs my hands and she puts it around her. And then this is the picture that we have together. It is just so magical. And then I was talking to Sarah, Lady Gaga was talking to Fabian, and then she turned around. She asked to take a picture again with the three of us. And she was like, you stand in the middle of Sarah and I. And I was like, no, you stand in the middle, please. You go in the middle. And she was like, no, you. And then we had this like little, no, you, no, you kind of tiff. And it was just so, so cute. But I want to say she's so talented and she's so amazing. And I'm so honored that I was able to meet such an icon and a legend star in her debut motion picture it's it's a must see and the music is just beyond it's so so good so i think for the lid i've been contemplating what i should use in lid i think i'm going to take this color obeyed and bronze age and just pack it on on the lid oh my god look at how freaking stunning this is right here so gorgeous i think i'm gonna do that and then mix it with a little bit of oh yes so Freaking good. I love Natasha Denona. She is so, so talented. And I remember meeting her and speaking to her. If you guys don't know her, she's an amazing makeup artist. And she said, you know what? When I did makeup, we didn't have filters. We didn't have Photoshop. So we had to learn how to do that on real life skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pack this on. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and take Ingenious on this J. Manuel Beauty uh, pencil brush. These shadows are so, so creamy. And then whenever I want my eyes to look lifted, I got this from Makeup Ari. She did my makeup for Don't and Got the Glam. She always makes, and also the face awards, she always makes me look so like, like snatch that. I'm gonna take this Ingenious, it's like a dark brown chocolate shadow. And I like to feather my eyes up right here on the lash line so it kind of gives it like that like pulled back effect you see right here i kind of started it i'm gonna go ahead and just feather this 
so my eyes look you see it's already pulling back my eye I'm gonna just bring this into the crease a little bit. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty liner and just line my eyes along the lash line. So today for lashes, I don't know which ones to use, but these have been my favorite recently. These are the Batty Lashes from my girlfriend, Jenny69. I love them. I think I am going to go with Sugar Baby because these are a little bit more winged out. You see that? They're cute. They're so full. They're cute. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. See, I don't know. I love all of them so much. You know what, the lashes that I decided to use was Instaho. <laughs> so, because my eye makeup is so dramatic. And I feel like these are similar lashes that I used last year at the AMAs. So, the red carpet, man, they do not forgive. But I feel like the lighting at the AMAs, the reason why I love my makeup so much is because the lighting was so, so good. I just thought about it just now, like how lucky and blessed I am to be doing what I'm doing and to have a platform to showcase diversity on the red carpet because I never saw anyone like me that was plus size brown or for a matter of fact Filipino and I don't think I've ever talked about this like moving to LA I think I have before how I knew I wanted to move to LA was when I think it was like the first time I had visited or the second time I had visited and stayed on Ronnie and Steven's couch when I went back home and I I lay down in my bed at my parents' house. That's when I knew. You know how your bed is just kind of like that comfort zone and it's like home? When I was itching to go back to their damn couch, <laughs> I just wanna just go back and be there and live, breathe, and eat in LA. That's how I knew. I don't know what more I could justify like moving to LA. And then when I moved to LA, it was right after I did the face awards. And I remember we got like a little cash prize and I was like, yo, I'm gonna take that money and I'm gonna go to LA and try to make it happen. You know, having hosted the face awards two years in a, in a row and having my collaboration with Mac and getting opportunities like this to host the red carpet, like I'm, feel super blessed and like YouTube is a lot of hard freaking work. Sometimes I catch myself working too hard and my friends tell me to like sleep and the other day I got two hours of sleep just doing the Dragon 101. It's gonna take a lot of work, but I just wanted to give you insight of, you know, what the possibilities are if you do keep your head on the ground, keep the noise out. And that's why I'm happy that I get to share my experiences with you whether it's at new york fashion week or whether it's hosting the face awards because it's like look you can do it too you guys can fulfill your dreams it's it's not about walking the red carpet it's to me it's about having these moments are for all of you guys to see that i am a chubby filipino plus size gay makeup wearing man doing all these things and for those of you that want to aspire to be something big and make a name for yourself you can do it and i think also what it takes is surrounding yourself with amazing people because that's what it takes to be successful, is just surrounding yourself with amazing people and keeping in a positive space. This brush by e.l.f. is the Shiznit. I got it when I went to the e.l.f. trip in Iceland. This is just so soft and it's so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pro Finish powder and see, this is where the step comes in, where the powder needs to knock off your damn face because it'll knock down the color and it'll bring back color. And I try to use this on the outside of my face. For my under eyes, for that bright effect, I like taking the Beauty Blender, the one that I use for my concealer, before and dipping it into the face powder because it's still a little bit wet. Not wet, it's just like kind of at the drying stage now. Kind of just like to put this under the eye and focus the brightness right here. Go right down the nose. We gotta snatch this nose. Ooh, we are stamping the face to filth. <laughs> so I, I love being full coverage, you guys. Can you tell? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, mineralized skin finish in deep dark. This is very, very orange, but it is for deeper skin tones. But I love using it as a contour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it into the highlight that I just stamped. I just feel so much better after getting through the eyes because eyes take so freaking long for me because I really changed the shape of my eye. I'm just gonna go up into the forehead and blend this in. For my nose, I like using this kind of brush. This is a flat brush, but it looks thin on the edges. And we're just gonna go ahead and snatch her up. One thing I wanna talk about this part of doing my makeup that I know causes irritation in the eyes is sometimes if you go too hard on smoking out the lower lash line, sometimes the, the eyeshadow flicks up into the eye. So I like to use a very, very light pressure. This also goes for makeup artists too. When I was doing somebody recently on my channel, I, I realized I was going a little bit too hard and it was flicking up to the eye. Now I look like a puppet. <laughs> I wanna talk about this mascara really quick. This is the Bad Gal Bang, yeah, by Benefit. It's really freaking nice for the bottom lashes. Do not forget to coat your brows if you're a baker like me. I love baking, but sometimes I'd be forgetting and then your brows be looking ashy. AF. 
in pictures. It happened to me the other night. I was in such a rush and I forgot to put my freaking brow gel on. Ooh. Now for blush, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a peach. This is the Mariah. It's me, Mariah. This is my Mariah blush. Sweet, sweet fantasy. I think I wore this last year too. Go ahead and blend it in to the highlight. For that glow, I love taking gold deposit and just applying it on top of the blush. It's such a beautiful glow that I just love. It's I've been using this since I worked at MAC. Just a little bit on the forehead too to get that glow. See, I keep reaching over here on this towel to like wet my hands and I think it's really important to have that. I've been getting so many tweets about people using this powder for a finishing powder. I can get it out. These Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders are the bomb. They're so so, so, so smooth. They're very expensive. I think they're expensive because of what's in it. What makes it so smooth? This is like a great kind of like just overall topper. It's like what it says, like an airbrush flawless finish powder. I want to talk about the colors with these. The colors are not like so specific. It's more like a transparent. It's not a translucent. So there's sort of transparency to them, but they're grouped by one, two, and three. But you know, if you do go in the store, try and, and just see, I'm not pressing it in like I did my pro finish, but I just go ahead and lightly dusting it over to give me that airbrush effect. Now for lips, I have a few couple options that I pulled. You can see I have a little bit of like red and orange tones in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with a red. This one is burgundy. It's one of my favorite pencils, if not my favorite pencil from MAC. MAC just has the best pencils. I like Makeup Forever too, but I think just the color system at Makeup Forever is a little bit confusing and it's not as memorable as MAC, do you feel me? Like NARS has a good color system. I think I like prefer color systems that have like cute names, like burgundy, whereas like, Makeup Forever is like pencil C17 or C3. That's why I prefer to use MAC because it's more catchy to me. So since my dress is really, really metallic -y, different shades of oranges and reds, I'm gonna take this Smashbox metallic matte. This one is called Always On. Because I'm always on, okay? First time ever using this, I swatched it, loved it, and blend this into the red. I'm obsessed with this lip. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a little bit of gloss. Shoot, I don't know what the, the sticker is off of this. I'm gonna mm. say it's copper. Just right there. I love it. All done. Ooh, let's see your makeup, Peter. Show the kids your makeup because you're a beauty blogger now. I haven't seen it either, so. Oh my god. It's blurry. Can you come in the freaking frame? Oh, it looks nice. Your brows look good. Thanks, Kelly. Mm. <laughs> it looks good. Hey, yeah, your skin looks good. Just take some Fix Plus. I'm gonna change and I'll be right back for the finished look. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Peter and I are ready for the AMAs. I love my dress. Shout out to B. Kala for this wonderful outfit and to Angel for the turban and Ronnie for the yes. body makeup. And Ronnie for my And makeup. TW for putting on my flip flops. <laughs> okay, let's look at the dress really quick. <laughs> guys, this dress is so <laughs> uncomfortable. I'm gonna wear flip flops today. Only you guys will know. I'm not gonna say anything else on social media today because I will get so red for wearing flip-flops and I'm, I love my outfit. We added on some bracelets and I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me and let's just go to the red carpet now. Oh my gosh, you guys, this dress is so tight. I have to um, sit like this in the car. My turn, guys, it is cutting my circulation off right here and on my knees. I feel like I'm in a straight jacket. The struggle. <laughs> Watch the show. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.